It was a full moon today. That ought to tell you something. It is off note. Don't I look refreshed? Hallelujah! We're gonna be shooting off into this angle. Well, good morning, you guys. Um, I decided to do a two-day vlog. I know it's been a while, okay? I'm at work, and today we'll do a little work and a little play, but I thought I'd bring you guys along for a two-day in my life. For right now, I gotta put my hair up and head off into work. I'm trying to figure out about his op, his op note. After checking my orders and get starting for the day, I looked at my meds and I knew I had some time to make some bedrolls. So I went ahead and made bedrolls. When you're in ICU, the patients can actually stand for us to change their linens. So we roll all the linens up and then we roll the patient to one side, push the linen underneath them halfway, roll them to the other side and pull it out. And that's how we change their sheets. So I had enough time to add a bedroll with a blanket sheet gown and some washcloth so we can give them a bath. And a linen bag is how we tie it all up. I made some for myself as for my patients, as well as for other nurses that are in ICU, because that's what it's all about, teamwork. I think I spoke about this process before, but if you guys don't know, um, I work in an isolation area, so we always have to gown in, gown out, use hand sanitizer, and wear gloves before going in to see the patient. And we do this before we go in every single time, and then we take it off before we come out. And it's just so repetitive, but it protects the patients. I'm right here. I'm right here. Oh. <laughs> you need some tape? Yeah, okay. Let me get you something, okay? I bought an extra coffee, so I'm waiting on one of my coworkers to come down from another department to pick it up. And once she comes, then we're going to head back upstairs and get back to work. Well, hey y'all, I came in here to get a uh, ultrasound machine because we're about to do a procedure on a patient. And while I was in here, I was like, ah, it's the perfect time for me to catch up with the people. So anyway, um, it's been a rather busy day. I'm in ICU today, so, you know, a little more critical patients, it's fine. I have been walking, but not as much as usual because my rooms are like right across from each other. I have two ICU patients. So I think I'm at maybe like 6,000 steps, which I'm trying to stay active while I'm here. And it's only like two o'clock. No, one o'clock. My alarm just went off for one o'clock. So I haven't had any lunch or anything and all I had was coffee this morning. So I'll bring you guys along when I do decide to go get lunch. But for right now, I'm gonna go back out here, do this procedure and hopefully get myself a break around like the two-ish, three-ish time frame. All right, I think that's it. Okay, so this is what happens when you come down here to get lunch late. Now I'm stuck to getting a grilled cheese and some onion rings because all they have is hot. Uh, Philly sandwiches and I don't want that pretty much when they don't have what you want you just figure out what you can get Just to make it through so that's where I'm at right now. I'm gonna head back up to my floor eat it real quick It's already 420 this afternoon. This is my first meal of the day and then I'm heading out She's super excited <laughs> Well, you guys I made it home. I did pick up the camera you guys my eye. Oh my god It's so bad and this one's red and I have a really bad habit of like digging and scratching down in my eye like this I shouldn't be doing that I know better but I still do it I've really got to cut that out anyway um so hopefully by morning it gets better if not I'll be going to get me some saline drops but yeah let's see I didn't film much else at work today because 
it was a full moon today, okay? That ought to tell you something. A lot of babies are born on full moons. A lot of crazy things happen on full moons. And work happens to be one of the things that can go haywire on a full moon. And I promise you guys, it did. So <laughs> I was like, I'm not picking up the camera no more. That's it. We have done enough. But anyway, tomorrow I thought I'd bring you guys along for one day of work plus play. Something like that. Let's just hope that that's how it all works out. Okay, so... Tomorrow, I'll pick back up the camera and we will be having a whole day out and about and doing the things that I want to do, plus taking care of some work orders here at home. It's a totally different type of work, but it brings in money nonetheless. I love both to a certain extent. So yeah, we'll expand. I'll expand and explain a little bit more in the morning because right now, y'all, I'm too out of it to even think about it. Let's start over and pick back up in the morning. Good night. Well, good morning, you guys. It's the next day. Okay, don't I look refreshed? My eye is even so much better. Oh my gosh, my eye is so much better. And I put lashes on today. Um, today, I'm gonna bring you guys along for a day of my entrepreneurial side of my life. And it is a little different. <laughs> like one of the major differences is there's no structure. So you have to create structure for yourself. There's no one to say like, go here, go there, do this, do that. You really have to put put it out for yourself. And today I'm starting my day picking up a Starbucks coffee. Hold on one second. Starbucks, my name is Malik. Could you hold one second for me? Sure, Malik. Thank you. Hey, Talisa, we do have you. Go ahead and pull around. Thank you. Well, I'm wondering where Malik went. But anyway, um, <laughs> so um, I have to create structure for myself whenever I'm working for myself. It's different than going to the hospital where everything as a nurse is, not everything, but a lot of things are task oriented. You have to set up your own tasks whenever you're working for yourself. So today I'm going to explain to you guys kind of how I try to keep on track. A lot of times I jot down things in a notepad. But what I'm gonna do is write it digitally, which I do that from time to time as well, so I can check it off as we get things done for today. It is like 11 o'clock right now, and I had a slow start, which is one of the benefits to working for yourself because um, I took my son to school, I came back, I filmed something for the members, a video for the members, and then after that, I was like, okay, let me get my day started, get outside, start um, getting me some coffee. I also need to go run and pick up some stuff for the cats, some litter and some food, and then we'll head back home and I'll show you guys how I stay organized. Thank you, have a great day, uh-huh. I got the goods. Yeah, I'll be extra with the coffee. If you saw my order, just excuse it. Okay, hold on one second. Okay, you guys, so I pulled up at Starbucks and I was like, let me just sit right here for a second and make myself a to-do list and have a sip of coffee, okay? I'm big on getting espresso shots, so I got a triple shot of espresso. I have a whole, a whole milk. I added in some oat milk, heavy cream. I guess whole milk is oat milk plus, whole, plus heavy cream equals whole milk. <laughs> okay, anyway, I be cracking myself up. Two pumps of sugar-free vanilla and two Splendas. It's bomb. Anyway, I made it through my list of duties that I wanna get done and I'll see if I can add it here somewhere on the screen and we'll check off as we go. First order of business is I gotta go get some cat litter and some cat treats and I'm gonna get some cat treats from this store that's like a little local store called Wayfield. But they have these cat treats that the cats love and they're literally 89 cents per pack. I'm about to buy them out because I accidentally stumbled upon them and I was like, why are they so cheap? And the cats love them. They're called like churu or something like that. So I'm heading over there in order to get some of those treats and it's not even close by my house, but I want to get those treats for the cat as many as I can find. And that's not a part of a typical work day, but that is part of the leisurely things that I can do versus when I'm at the hospital, right? I can like you know weave in some other things that need to get done and I'll bring you guys along for the day so let's get right into it I'm literally here for two things and we're gonna find them so fast and get up out of here let's start with naturally strong on silver 1098 
these. Churro. Okay, so last time, oh, jackpot. Chicken with cheese. Y'all, I don't know if they want for that. No, jackpot. Wait, <laughs> there's literally one. For 89 cents, I'm definitely getting that. Okay, you guys, I'm back. <laughs> I know you're like, what happened? Okay, listen, I went to go get the cat treats and the litter. That's all I picked up. And when she scanned the cat treat, which I got one pack before to make sure the cats were gonna like it. And cause it was in the 89 cents section. I'm like 89 cents. But anyway, she scanned it. And um, those packs of those treats are usually like two something. Last time when she scanned it, I didn't check my receipt. I just thought it was 89 cents. Cause I'm not really a receipt checker. What ended up happening was I got 10 packs and it came up to like $25 for the treats and then $12 for the litter. And so it was gonna be like 40 something dollars. And I was like, <laughs> I told her, I said, wait, it says 89 cents over there. She, was, she said, she was real nice. She was like, can you show me where it says it? I was like, yeah. I took her over there and it said, Churu Cat Chicken Stew, which I don't know if that's what that is, but whatever, I don't care. It said 89 cents and it was in that section. She said, okay, I'll price adjust it. And she price adjusts my receipt. Hold on, I'm gonna show you guys. Um, she ended up putting on there a senior discount and charged me 89 cents per pack and gave me a dollar seven senior discount on this line item off of here. So I only ended up paying $21.58 for 10 packs of cat treats that usually cost $2.50 each plus a $12.50 litter. God is good. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, he be looking out for me. Anyway, I'm headed home to get to work work, for real, for real. But I thought I'd share the joy of today. All right, I'll see you guys soon at the house. Made it back home and I need to work on, first things first, creating some Etsy orders. Actually, no. Before I do that, I need to put some like details on a members video that I put out, a member only video. And then also I need to put some details on last night's upload. I was having a lot of issues with that video. And so I wanted to make sure that it had like, you know, the eyes in the sky. Um, and I thought that might've been hemming it up. So I didn't add them. I went ahead and ran the live or the premiere. And now I'm going to add those eyes in the sky on that video from last night, as well as add some final details on a member video that I'm about to post. Um, and then when I get done with that, we're going to move on straight into Etsy orders. Okay, you guys, so I got the whole video posted for the members. I did the tags for yesterday's video or the timestamps for yesterday's video. And now I need to work on some Etsy orders. <laughs> let me get to it because I think I got about three orders that need to ship. Wait, let me look because there's 26 orders in my cube. I have three orders that need to ship by tomorrow. And then, um, yeah, so really, I don't have any mandatory orders I need to get out, but I'll probably work on those three that need to ship by tomorrow and try to get those out. That's for um, Carrie, Kalia, and Tanya. Thank you guys for your orders, and I'm gonna try to get your orders out. And then the other orders don't need to ship by until Monday, but I'll probably work on those tomorrow. Um, but I'm not trying to kill myself. Oh, 26 orders, and there's a bunch of them that are the oops envelopes which are super easy for me to just bag up because they're already here. So I might get those out as well. But anyway, next thing on the list, work on the orders. And so I'm gonna get to that right now. Okay, you guys, so now that I got some Etsy orders done, I think I ended up, I'm down to 15 in the queue and I think I started at 29. So I did about 14 orders. A lot of them were oops envelopes. If you only ordered an oops envelope, then 
it came out. If you had something added into your Oops Envelope order, then I need to make your other products. So it'll be a little while. I'll probably be working on those orders tomorrow. I only have 15 left in the queue and hopefully I can clear that out tomorrow. So if you're expecting an order from me, look for it then. All right, anyway, um, I thought I'd show you guys a little bit about how I film reels. And so I do need to film two reels today. I was not gonna do cash stuffing reels, but I think I'm going to. I'm not gonna use any of the lights that you guys see around here. <laughs> There's my Cricut machine and my printer. We're not gonna use any of that, but I will show you a little setup. I have an extra phone. And so I'm gonna first explain the setup to you and how I actually set up my reels. And then we'll actually film two and you'll be able to see me actually film them. All right, let's get into it. All right, first I should give you a panoramic view of what's actually on my desk. So you guys know Mr. Plant. And there's some stickers, thank you stickers back here in the little um, bear container that I got from Timu. And then my computer is always here. This is where I film like straight down overhead shot from here, but we're not gonna be filming overhead. We're gonna be shooting off into this angle, okay? My printer lies here. There's a hole punch there. There's extra junk on the desk, don't need to be. There's a cup that I use for decoration and then um, my little toaster light. And this is my laminate machine. Um, and then this is a basket where I keep some tissue paper and above is all the scratch off products that I use. Okay, so that's kind of the view if you think about it, but I'm gonna get really close in on this shot. You don't need much space in order to film reels, which is the beauty of it. I wanna come in a little bit closer and the first thing I wanna do is set up this area right here. So I'm gonna take the laminate machine down. I'm done making Etsy orders for today. Next thing I wanna do, I don't mind if the tissue paper stays in here. I use that tissue paper for boxes, but this is pretty much the space where I'm gonna film. I do want to kind of pin that space in, like make a border here. So I'm gonna move the plant over to the other side is usually what I do. But you can see it coming into form. Either I'll put that or sometimes I will use this, right? And so I'll use the snail and then I would change out this for something else like the toaster. But I'm gonna leave this marker here. Actually, no. I'm gonna take this marker out because I'm gonna be doing the light up your life challenge or light up my heart challenge, I'm gonna use this marker because I like these little quick small markers to grab. The light up your heart challenge, I have a pink piggy bank that goes in this part. It's gonna be something like this, but you guys are in vertical, no, horizontal, and I'm gonna change it to vertical when I'm filming. Something like this. So let me change over to the other tripod and I'll show you the total look of what it looks like. And then I'll show you me filming an actual reel. All right, so I have my tripod here. Um, and let me see if I can get you guys the angle that I'm seeing. So first the tripod's here like this, and I'm gonna turn it around. This is a shot you'll be seeing in the video, minus the markers, right? So you'll just be seeing this tight shot here. That's the shot you'll see. And I'm gonna raise this up. Okay, I don't like that this basket is not centered in the shot, so that's important for me. I don't like the view of this plant. I'm gonna put them more flat and twirl them around. Okay, I think that's good. Let me show you what it looks like. So this is the shot that you'll see and the camera setup looks like this. So I'm gonna be filming down here. Da -da 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 and then put the money into the bank there. Um, and this is the only part that you'll actually see, not everything all around, not the, uh oh, not everything not all around, not the cup or, the, you know, any of the other things. You'll literally just see this tight shot. And I didn't like the way that looked, so I'm gonna do it again. And that's because I wanted a flip through of all the pages. I'm gonna be muting all this anyway. I have only $20 to put in and this is where things get hard because editing will be in play. I gotta find something to add up to $20. Okay, let me see. Uh, <laughs> 
through five and 15. Okay, here we go. Pull out one of these and I'm gonna edit all this down, but we'll do five. And 15. And I'll show the book again. And put the $20 in. And that's one reel. All right, so now that I have the whole video done, then I would typically edit. I'm gonna go ahead and play it for you guys so you can kind of see what's going on. I'll probably be cutting this part out because I wanted to show the book and to showcase the fact that it has 20 challenges. In order to do so, I need to flip through the book. So I'll probably cut it to there and then flip through the book with some of the hiccups taken out and then go to light up my heart. And I'm gonna speed all this up so it literally will come out to be maybe a 20 second video. Next, I'm showing the dollar bill, 20. And I'll probably cut some of this out because remember I couldn't figure out which two hearts to close in on. So <laughs> I gotta cut that out. Um, but I will be using editing software to edit that out. And then if I hurry up, we can talk about the rest. Finally, once I decide, I'm gonna have the sound of me pulling out the marker as well as a close up on me coloring in the five and the 15. So I'll be using the zoom function when editing to zoom in on those parts. So that's the majority of what you'll see in the screen and then maybe put a transition on to showing the book at the end. Okay, so that's usually how I edit it. Um, let's see, I show the book. Mm -hmm. Show which ones I'm doing with the nail with no nail and then uh, put my $20 in and I'll probably put a $20 somewhere on the screen, show the book and close. And that's gonna be the end of that reel. So I need to film one more. I don't necessarily have to edit them today because like I said, I typically don't edit as I go. I edit, I leave those footage in my phone and when it's time for me to edit, I'll edit it the day of, which will probably be tomorrow's posting. All right, so let me go ahead and set up for the next shot. I'm losing my light, y'all. I'm losing my light. Okay, let's hurry up. I got one more to do. I'm probably not going to be able to get to the video because it's about to rain or something. I don't know what's going on out there. All right, so I'm starting setting up the same shot. I'm not going to use this book, so I'm going to take it out. And I'm going to take out the pink bank. I'll probably move the plant to the middle. This one, I'm going to switch out the markers and put the long markers. I'm gonna put the long markers here because I think they have a great rainbow effect. Even if I'm not using them, they're good for the shot. The other piece I'm gonna use is this cute cup that I got from, um, what is her name? Kylie. Um, catnip. I got this little cup from Catnip and you can't see it so well here, but you'll be able to see it. I'm gonna film on with a flash on for this one since it's getting so dark. It'll look like that. And a flash works well with, I don't use a flash a lot. I like natural light, but if I don't have it, then I'll use the flash. Also, I like it whenever I'm doing scratch offs because they really shimmer in this type of light. Like, I don't know if you can, oh, you can see it because I just showed it to you there, see? They're shimmery in this type of light. This hollow binder really illuminates under light as well as the scratch off challenges do. So I have a whole bunch of scratch off challenges in here, but look how they shine. A, so I'm gonna be doing it under light and all we're gonna do is a reel for um, $15 is what I have left. <laughs> 5, 10, 15 and we're gonna see about putting that in. If I go over, I have an IOU right here so I can add it. Now let me find my visa beast. Got him. He was on the other side of the table. All right, so we have a visa beast. We have the IOU in case it's needed and then we have $15. I'm gonna set this one up also with the tray, the cash tray, because I think it looks good. I'm gonna set it this way though, because the shot is only like from here to here. If I line it up here, it will cut it out of the shot. All right, so let's get started on this one.
All right, I moved the cash tray and stuff out of the way. Let's go ahead and play the video and I'll show you what it looks like. Yeah, see how shimmery it is under flash? Definitely, if you're trying to film savings challenge with scratch offs, you probably want to turn the flash on. Um, I'm going to be using Sometimes it gets annoying, like where it is right there. Excuse that piece of glue on my nail, but yeah, um, sometimes it gets annoying when the flash is directly blaring, like this right here, the spot right here. But I can't do anything about that if I want the hollow on there and I want that hollow look, so it's fine. Um, I did go over because I scratched 20 and I only have 15, so I'm going to have an IOU for five. And I will edit out some of this. Like, I don't like that glare on the IOU, so I dropped it down and brought it close, and I'll probably only show it for a small shot. And zoom in on this part where I actually write the $5. You'll see me zoom in and then um, add the money in. So, yeah. And, of course, I'm going to speed this up. This will end up being about maybe a 20 to 25 second video. I try to keep them about that length. It seems like that's people's engagement. <laughs> that's people's attention span on these little shorts and reels. So, I don't want it to be extra long. One minute, people don't watch the whole thing. And even this, me watching it back is torturous for me. So, I know it is for people that don't know what's going on. All right. So, that's it. All right, you guys, my, I'm losing sun. And as much as I want to continue filming, I think I might work on the newsletter for the members. And then after that, we're going to call it quits. I don't think I'm going to go to Hobby Lobby tonight like I wanted to, but I will hit there tomorrow. Um, and you guys will just have to trust that I'm having a video come out with some Hobby Lobby products. And then um, also filming a video, I don't think is under the right lighting. And also it's getting late. I worked on Etsy orders a lot longer than I expected. And I still need to go to the post office to drop those off. Let's get into working on this um, newsletter for the members. Should I do that? You know what? I don't think I'm going to do that. Let me make a run to the post office and gather up my stuff, gather up my mindset and get up out of here. Take these packages to the post office and then just know I'll be doing the newsletter for the members tomorrow, finishing the rest of the orders. Um, what else? Oh, taking the trip to Hobby Lobby filming a cash stuffing video. I have a lot to do tomorrow and the list goes on and on. Things that I don't complete, I kind of just roll them over to the next day. And that's the beauty of kind of like working for yourself in where in my nursing day, if I don't complete tasks, I have to stay until the tasks are complete. But in my regular work from home schedule, um, for myself being an entrepreneur, you can pretty much just leave it to the next day if it's something that can handle that. So I feel good about everything that I got accomplished today. It seems like Etsy orders were the focus and that I'm okay with that. I do, like I said, still need to run to the post office and it's already six o'clock or almost six o'clock. I also need to get dinner for me and Jace or make something downstairs. So that's why I'm gonna cut it here. And yeah, I'll probably edit and get this video up to you guys tonight. And then I will see you tomorrow with a budget and cash stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed a little bit of seeing how I make my money. Two very different work days for me. Um, and I know you guys have saw Etsy shop vlogs before, so I didn't want to give you too much Etsy content, but just to get a feel of how my day flows differently on my two different types of work days. If you made it all the way to the end of this video and you're a real one, put this one single emoji right here, letting me know that you made it. I appreciate you guys for letting me venture out and try new types of content because you guys, I don't know. This isn't a budget and cash stuff, but hopefully you guys will enjoy it. Also, um, don't forget to subscribe. 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 Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and then like this video because it helps it to be suggested to other people who might want to see the differences between a RN day and an entrepreneurial day. And finally, suggest this video to someone if you think they would enjoy the content. All right, I think that's everything I have to say for today. I will talk to you guys very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. All the orders.